Hi everyone and welcome to this short presentation on the Regreening Africa app, which is an app we've developed at eCraft uh, for assisted crowdsourcing or to track land restoration at scale. So I've installed it here on my mobile phone and I'm using it in the field. And today I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of some of the key key aspects of the app. Um, you, can, you can find it on the Google Play Store. So very easy to locate. Just simply search for Regreening Africa on Google Play. You need an Android phone to use it. Install it and start it, and you're ready to go. And basically, if you're starting a new new project where you would like to use the app within the project, uh, feel free to get in touch with us so that we can set you up for our data reporting system as well. In the Regreening Africa app, we have four modules, one for capacity development, one for tree planting, one for farmer managed natural regeneration, and one for nurseries. So these modules basically cover various aspects of, of different land restoration projects. Um, here's an example just of data that's coming in using the app. You can see on the left there a map with some polygons on it that show FMNR and tree planting. So this is information that's been submitted by implementing partners on the ground or by farmers themselves. Um, and in the Regreening Africa project, it's being used across eight countries uh, where we have a large number of farmers that have been registered and that are using this app to track how, what they're planting, where they're planting things, or what they're managing and where they're managing their trees on farm. Just to give you a better sense again of the of that, so zooming into parts of, of um, Western Kenya, just showing where the field boundaries are that are being logged using the app, and we'll come back to that. And then we have a team here on the ground that are measuring a tree in the field. Another aspect of the app is that we can track species diversity. So how, what types of trees are being planted? We can assess and track that. This example is for Rwanda, but we can also look at where things are being planted. So where trees are being planted. For example, is it on an internal boundary? Is it in woodlots? Is it in home gardens, in croplands, etc.? All of that is really critical information for land restoration. Also, when it comes to farmer managed natural regeneration or FMNR, we can track biodiversity within these farming systems. And we also record the field boundaries you can see here on the right. That gives us a spatial assessment of where uh, these interventions are going in. So finally, we can also combine the information that we gather using this kind of approach, using citizen science data collection with structured data that we collect using more systematic approaches, such as the land degradation surveillance framework. So uh, basically, this is where crowdsourcing meets science. And this allows us to, given that we have these field boundaries and we know where activities are being implemented on the ground, we can extract a number of different indicators of soil and land health and really start understanding uh, more at a deeper level what, what's driving degradation across these landscapes and what types of interventions we should be putting in place for effective land restoration. So that's all, very brief for now. Thank you so much.